Thank you to Dr. Strangelove61 for their generous donation as a YouTube member. Hello, everyone. This is a big one. My name is Vivian. We're here with the last... The last recording session of Echo. I, I know it seems kind of abrupt. It, it kind of caught me off guard, too, but, like... Apparently, this is the final update. We've got a couple of big things here. The first of which we're going to do is a f the Flynn epilogue. Hey, everyone. Quick fucking interruption from the future here. Uh, when I recorded this, I was kind of confused. I wasn't confused. I was misinformed by myself. Uh, for some reason, I was remembering the prologue, which for this route, the Flynn route, was actually started in the last episode. This is actually a continuation of that same prologue. But in my mind, I was remembering it as multiple. So I'm going to be saying a lot of stuff like the three prologues and all this other stuff. Or epilogue, wouldn't it be? Epilogue. See? I'm fucking up left, right, and center here. But anyway, uh, no, this is just a continuation of the epilogue from before. So when I'm saying, like, oh, this is the same as the other one, like, it's it's the exact same one. Uh, oops. Sorry. Okay, so this this is the fucking horrifying scene that we... That we fucking ended off on. So if there's an epilogue, it'd be after this. The end. Yep. The end. Very true. Credits. Writing by Holly and McSkinny. Editing Holly and McSkinny. Scripting Holly, McSkinny, and Tuxix. So you can fucking read them yourself. See, so we got. Oh! So that would be the motel room door. I imagine these are going to be some of the CGs you see in, um... Is it still called Arches? It's this fucking sequel. Oh, okay, so this is definitely the motel years later. Fuck. It's, it's crazy seeing this place all fucked up, but that's what we're- that's what we're gonna see in, um... In the sequel. Which, I believe the first build of that is already out for patrons. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like the work of Kevin McCloud is in, like, a lot of fucking <laughs> visual novels. I don't know what that's about. What's the next one? Oh, that would be the City Limits sign. Damn. Ah, stay a while. There we go. We know what that means. Five years later. Yay. Epilogue. Okay, so we actually- okay, so this is different. First of all, they- I think they posterized the background. I don't know if that was the way last time, but, um... Specifically, you got Chase's new sprite. This is what he's gonna look like in Arches. He's still got that fucking goatee, but he's older. He's... Got them bags under his eyes. He's an old man now, aka five years older. But fuck. It's so fucking weird seeing Chase- like, okay, this kind of- it put it in context of Flynn's route. At some point, the, the- the- at one point, the fucking perspective shifts so you actually get to see Chase. So, if you're watching this later on and you've just seen the Flynn route in succession in its own playlist, then this isn't as big a deal because you've already seen Chase, but in Every other fucking route, anytime you see Chase, it's like a bad fucking time. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Not 100%, but it's usually a bad time, so... It's fucking eerie. Well, they already got multiple sprites for Chase. His eyes moved. His creepy eyes. Those eyes are... Ugh. Ugh. Don't like them. Okay, let's begin, shall I? This is where the f the the thing ended last time, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. The trio begins to head northward past the burned-out newer buildings that went up in smoke during the hysteria. Devin finds an odd-looking globe broken in the middle of the road. Why the- the fucking globes are coming for us, man! Cameron offers to carry it with him, though Devin seems rather adamant about not looting anything. That's- that's- yeah, that's a good- that's good, that's good practice. Chase doesn't appear to care either way. Oh shit, he's taking him to the fucking mine? Oh, that's that's never a good sign. Eventually they arrive on the outskirts of the nearby... Ooh. What? 
Eventually they arrive on the outskirts of the nearby warning signs posted damn near everywhere. That is... I feel like there's a word missing there. The nearby mine? I don't... Of the What the fuck? Looks like barbed wire fencing had started being erected along the main entrance. Though Chase mentions the county gave up on trying to fully enclose it a couple of months ago after folk kept cutting through it. Oh, Chase, don't be creeping up on me like... Oh, it's the mouse. I was like, what the fuck's coming out of his mouth? And it's just the fucking anchor of the mouse. I'm going to put it away up in the corner. <laughs> Chase, you're freaking me out, man. I don't like it. So, um, there's more than one entrance to the mine here. They're all barred off now. I mean, the main entrance was locked up tight bef even before the crap show five years ago. Devin sets up his tripod, pointing it toward the black void between the rocks. Don't photograph the devils! The devils don't want to be photographed! They're really mad after that little Nas X video came out. They're all up in arms. It's a good fucking video. Me and Bree watched it yesterday. It's actually nice. This is where they found the bodies? Ch Chase shakes his head. That was off the side entrance in the A level. This is the main entrance. We've seen this entrance in the smoke room as well. Christ, this, this, like... Ugh. <laughs> I, I don't remember where, but I believe I saw somewhere that said that Arches is going to be the last game in the Echo series. Which is going to be a damn shame, because with, with, between you got the Smoke Room, you got Benefits, you got Route 65, you got Echo, now you got an Echo sequel, Arches. Between all those fucking games, I still don't understand what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thick, I don't know. It goes all the way from A to F level. A to F level. See, that's interesting because in the smoke room they said that there was only three levels. So unless they be skipping letters like in the American education system, either there's... Apparently there is some inconsistencies between uh, the writing in the smoke room and the writing in Echo. Uh, they're written by different people, so, like, Sam's birthday was wrong in his appearance in Echo, but I don't fucking know. I don't know. How deep is that? It depends. The deepest shaft goes down 1,900 feet. Jeez. Chase holds up his hand, gesturing behind him. It's been like... Half a century since the mine's been active, so rotting supports and the like most have most most certainly have caved in most of it. Devin nods, a, a, a tight frown crossing the bear's broad muzzle. It's clear he's got something on his mind. What about uh, you know that one guy? Mm hmm. The mayor's nephew. Aha! The mayor's nephew. He's talking about Flynn. I've read the reports and all, but what's your take on what happened? Chase hesitates for a moment, not having expected the question. Yeah, he's talking about his dead friend who... In... In one route, in TJ's route, Chase kills him. But in Flynn's route, Flynn burns alive, I think? And then becomes a light socket man? I don't know. I don't know what the in-universe explanation is for that. Or what Chase thinks happened. Or at least, hoping it wouldn't come up at all. The otter steps back, bringing his fingertips up to the bars of the mine. He touches them in the cave wall that they're embedded in. He draws back and shows the two his, bla the, shows the two his blackened fingertips. Oh, the cave is scorched. Okay, so yeah, the, remember, um... At one point during uh, Flynn's death scene, he wakes up in the mine and he's like on fire and Carl and ah, uh, what the fuck is his name? Fucking Salamander Man. Um, no, it wasn't Jax. No, it was Jax, wasn't it? I think so. The nerd guy. He, they ran up to him and then... He, they said he was, like, on fire or something, and then they, like, ran away or something? I don't fucking know. 
but so maybe yeah because obviously flynn was hallucinating sydney was not actually there they weren't actually at the fucking bar he had to break either broke the lock or tried to get in some way either way so he burned alive in the mine that's in how the fuck did he get on fire i don't know anyway continue well the theory is that there were flammable gases that were ignited in the lower levels created this sustained burn that started billowing smoke up in the air for a couple weeks after the whole happening yeah, I know that, but why did he walk inside while it was like that? You were one of the last people to see him, after all. And those other two, they said they couldn't stop him after you left? So that would be Jax and Carl. Chase looks away, staring off into space. Dots. Says nothing. And soon, Devin and Cameron are exchanging nervous glances at one another. He's an evil man. Especially in game, it is heavily hinted, if not outright said, that Chase, under the influence of whatever dark spirit eventually left him to go to Flynn, fucking killed Sydney. So, they don't know they're with a fucking murderer. <laughs> oh shit, he skidded off. Next thing they know, the otter is walking off without another word. W wait, hold on. He swears under his breath, Cameron looking on with crossed arms as Chase heads towards his car. Oh, fuck. He's not gonna... Oh, damn, he totally is. The hell? Devin whines. Fuck, I was being insensitive, wasn't I? You never know when you strike a nerve with these kinds of things. These kinds of things? What do you mean? Devin quirks a curious brow towards the coyote, though judging by his grimmest expression, Cam regrets bringing it up and doesn't speak further. The other sound of an engine starting in the distance. Devin sighs. Good thing we brought our jeep instead of riding with him, eh? Fuck. Cameron frowns, reaching up and holding the big guy's arm. Hey, don't worry, I'll get the camera. Flying on our own could be pretty cool, right? There's nostrils flare with a hefty exhale. Yeah, I'll pull the jeep around. Cameron gives Devin a thumbs up before moving to grab the camera. As he's about to close the viewfinder display, he notices a green square appear in the center of the frame. That would be facial recognition, brother. I know cameras, that is not a good... He leans down to look more closely, pressing the display adjust button. Face detection disabled. The square vanishes. Huh? He hits the button again. The square returns. See, I, I see, I was fucking right, man. That, I know my shit. That's weird. He flicks the switch on the side to auto, auto white balance the image. Auto white balance is the biggest fucking lie ever. The whole screen flashes to the, as the lens adjusts, and as it comes into focus. Fuck! The lizard stands in the darkness behind the bar. A lizard stands in the darkness behind the bars. Oh, fuck me. But he can't stare. Not really, because his eyes are gone. Half the m has muzzle missing. Cameron jumps back, tripping over the rocks and landing against the, sh at the sharp edges. Cody hisses in pain, but fear spurs him on, trying to scramble up the rocks after Devin. The bear's already turned around, though, reaching down to pull Cameron up. Shit! You alright? What happened? As Cameron clings to the large bear, he looks back, but nothing's there. I... I don't know, I saw it. Cam Devin looks in the same direction, squinting. Cameron stares a while longer, then turns back and shakes his head against Dev's chest. When Cameron looks back up at the bear, he's grinning, though. Holy shit, did you see a ghost? This is what happens at the lake. <sighs> Thing is, right, like, I believe... Yeah, in the route where he saw him at the lake, that was TJ's route. And that's where Flynn died. So he's seeing Flynn, wherever he's going. Cody scowls. What? 
No, I just thought I saw something. It, it's probably the camera glitching out. Bear gives him a knowing smile. Wh what? You're gonna be a believer by the end of all this. I know it. He's He might be dead by the end of all this. Don't fucking count your chickens. The grizzly hugs him tightly as Cameron frowns, still looking back at the cavern's entrance. It had been so real. But before he can really collect himself, Devin is pulling him and the camera along, back to the jeep. Damn. Damn, son. Okay, that's a- Ah, that's, oh, damn it. Because there's no to be continued, I didn't get the chance to save. But whatever. What the fuck ever. I did say in the middle, save in the middle of it, and we saw it. So there you go. That's going to be the first part of this final recording session of the end of Echo. The epilogue after Flynn's route. <sighs> so we know that Devin and Cameron are not going to be on great terms with Chase. He's emotionally, mentally floaty. He's... Oh, cry. I don't know how much of a role Chase is going to play in the sequel, but... Oh, boy. I know Flynn ain't going to be happy no matter how we meet him. <laughs> okay, he dead. I mean, you don't find many people are like, oh, okay. But anyway, um... So... Whew. Well, that's the end of Flynn's route. Uh... You kind of get the kind of a smaller finale before we get to the big finale. Of course, really, the finale of Echo is just the end of the last route to be finished. It's not like, to my knowledge, there isn't some end of the game, big old wrap up of everything kind of moment. Might be, I don't know. But either way, thank you for watching. Uh, Flynn's route and Echo. Uh, on the next episode, we're going to be going into Jenna's route. To see what all is new and and the, the ending. Whew. But until then, everyone, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to click the things. All of the things. The sub button, the like button, the, the end slate, the cards, all of it. C click. Just click. So much clicking. Can I get some click sound effects, please? Thank you. Do that. Or else you'll make Bree's finger feel like it did all that for no reason. Am I crying a little bit? Just a little bit. Oh, God. It's so sad. Thank y'all. Have a nice uh, morning. Uh, in enjoy. Bye. <laughs>